Hello, my name is Alex Cock, Business Consultant at Intercat, and welcome to yet another three-part series of the SolidWorks Quick Tip Sessions. Today we're going to be talking about walkthroughs, and we are going to kick off this series by talking about how we start off on a walkthrough itself. But before we go into that, let us talk about the basic questions that we would be addressing. Why walkthroughs? You know, what's the difference between SOLIDWORKS animation and walkthroughs? That's probably the most common question that gets asked when the topic of walkthroughs is raised. Of course, after that explanation comes the next question. The difference. What's the difference between animation and walkthroughs? And finally, how do we use it? Now, the how is what this series is meant to address. Now, for starters, no. Walkthroughs isn't exactly SOLIDWORKS animation. In fact, it is not. It is an entirely separate piece of functionality that gives a similar end result, a movie capture. But no, it is not SOLIDWORKS animation. And of course, it is quite different. It uses a whole different set of commands, and the approach is quite different. And this is what this series is meant to address. And finally, using it, depending on your approach, it may be quite difficult or easy. And this is ultimately the reason for this quick tip series addressing how to use this with the least amount of effort. So why walkthroughs? Well if you take a look at the samples on the screen here it's quite obvious why we want to use walkthroughs. It gives a very good overview of how our designs are going to be presented. Now what we have here is a collection of two videos showing you how the environment of a design within SOLIDWORKS can be highlighted. Please bear in mind, however, that walkthroughs can be used to highlight both um, assemblies as well as parts. There is no rule that says that walkthroughs have got to be restricted only to assemblies. So, to start off on walkthroughs, first of course we need to know how to access the commands within SOLIDWORKS itself. And there, of course, as with most commands, quite a few different methods, and we're going to take a look at a few of them. So let's take a look now. To start off, we can try the most basic approach, which is view and likes camera, and you go on to add a walkthrough. Let's see how we're going to do that one. With an appropriate file open, all you need to do is to go file, view, likes and cameras, add walkthrough. That is one option that you can employ here. Following using the usual view, uh, pull down menus and all that, there is also the ability within the display manager tab, if you were to switch over to the scene light and camera option, there is a walkthrough selection. And if you were to do a right mouse click there, you could also create a walkthrough. If you choose to go to the Display Manager, well, it can be found here. Display Manager, and under the Display Manager, you would have three options, the Views, Decals, Scene, Likes, and Camera. Within the third option, you do a right mouse click, Add a Walkthrough. Now, the Walkthrough command can also be accessed through the Large Design Review tab, and let's take a look at how that works. The third option works in the large design review mode. What I have here is I'm opening this assembly with a large design review mode. And when this happens, I will automatically have a large design review tab active. And there, I will also have the icon to turn on the add walkthrough. By clicking on this, I would fire up the walkthrough command. The final option you could use to access the walkthrough command is with the command search capability which effectively allows you to search for a specific command with an appropriate keyword. Of course I have got to highlight that the last op two options that I've highlighted here, the large design review tab and command search are only available from SOLIDWORKS 2012 onwards. To carry out a command search, all you need to do is to go up to this little corner here of the SOLIDWORKS screen and key in an appropriate keyword, for example, walk. Click and add walkthrough, and what we end up with is the walkthrough command activated. Regardless of option that we choose, clicking on start walkthrough brings up a very interesting user interface which we will explore in the second part of this quick tip session. 
And with this, we come to the end of the first part of our walkthrough series. For more information on this topic or anything SOLIDWORKS related, please contact Intercat at the following numbers or addresses shown in this slide. My name is Alex Cock, Business Consultant at Intercat, and this has been a quick tip series proudly brought to you by Intercat.